Yo, what's up guys? We are introducing a brand new series within our coaching series. This is going to be where we review gameplay, speaking about things that could be done better or things that are done really, really well and you should continue doing. Today, we're going to actually be reviewing some of my own gameplay. This is my first game on of the stream. We're vibing out. We had some mac and cheese. We're having some good laughs. Before we knew it, we realized we're on a bit of a burner. So hey, as long as you got your notepads out, sit back, relax, enjoy. Alrighty guys, so essentially what we've got here, we've just seen some shots over at this uh, hangar. So we're gonna be pushing in pretty aggressive, but still only just looted, haven't seen anything yet, but it's been a lot of shots going off in this region. I'm noticing a car straight away behind me. So I'm taking note of that car as I'm looking for the red dot down the hill. Thankfully he doesn't run me over, not a fantastic driver, which is brilliant. Swap guns, get rid of this guy. Now immediately thinking about the shots, down the hill where we were before. Looking for that guy whilst looking at this loot. Didn't see anything. Happened to just see this guy right here. And then the second one that we were predicting before comes up. We got a little bit lucky. I was looking at my peripherals as I was looting. Didn't see anything, but then got collapsed on by two guys. My timing was lucky that I was able to use that cover and work between both teams. Now, there are going to be moments of this gameplay that I cut forward, just that did completely dead time. I won't ever cut out important moments where we see pings or I'm looking at the map or things like that, but when it's purely just editing and nothing of significance, we will cut the video just to speed things along. Along here, we are just looting again. Nothing terribly exciting whatsoever. Hey, but we've spotted a guy. Thankfully, this guy makes a terrible decision here to cut back in. If he just kept running around the hangar instead of cutting back, he would have been safe. He should have known where I was from the hit markers, but I, I don't think he was the best. So we've just cut forward here. We got enough money for a UAV, so obviously we're going to get that. Throw it up immediately. Seeing dots already, I have already definitely looked at them, but have not brought up uh, the map. I should have brought up the map already. See the up arrow on this dot? See him in the sky? See if we can get some lucky shots down, but nothing too impressive here. All right, now we're going to pause it just here. We're going to take it back just a second here to show you immediately. We bring up the map, and this is what we're looking at here, right? So let's bring up my little marker that I've got because, you know, that seems like a cool idea, right? To bring up a marker. <laughs> yeah, baby. Uh, so we know we've got a dot here here and then some over here. So immediately I'm looking at this thinking I need to push in hard. I don't want to just push in this way because this guy could wrap around here. Instead, I want to push in this way using this building as my cover, but also allowing me to then come in through here and hopefully get involved in the fight. That is the game plan. Let's uh, keep seeing how things go. I'm going to continue to pause it whenever I have a moment that I feel like I can speak over the gameplay as well. So we do cut forward, we make that run, and as we exactly just then expected, the dude was on the left. We haven't seen the guys in the big white building, and we haven't heard from them again yet either. Managed to clean this guy up pretty clean, getting some elevation. The idea behind that is becoming an unpredictable angle. We see the king obviously jump straight onto the map to ping that thing so we can get a live track on it and he can't sneak up on us or anything. Nothing too fancy here. Now at this point, I'm trying to work out, is he outside or is he inside? Is he, you know, What's the situation? I figure I want elevation, so I do the big balls play, and we take the elevator to get up. And immediately we see him on the stairs. We thankfully got a good... He was, If he was good, he would have got me on the elevator. He would have played that better. Thankfully, he let me get away. Now, you may have just heard that, just then a sniper shot's come through. So I'm aware I've heard that sniper shot, and it was to my left across the runway. So immediately I'm going to come out, and I'm going to start looking. Now, it was a sniper scope, so you see I'm not standing still. I'm constantly moving, ducking, weaving. I thought that grass was that guy. I'm really good at this video game. Grass people, they all look the same, right? We dust forward here. I just run across the thing, nothing impressive, and we're pushing the building. 
this guy, I did not see him at that window. He should have pushed very aggressively out of that window. He had the drop on me. I didn't tag him at all. He'd cracked me. Uh, thankfully, he decides to play it safe and slow down. Now, take note of something just there. I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but just, just here. Oh, I, I can't, I can't throw quick enough. Look in the window over here on my left, in that window. Oh, still getting new to this program. I saw the guy cross. So as soon as I saw that and then heard, I was like, okay, I'm good to actually push forward. He's not going to peek the doorway because I knew he was outside and running in. Move forward. We bought a loadout. Got it. Got this one for high alert. Absolutely nothing happened in between. And I haven't heard anyone. And so we're just back to looting. It, it's a habit I need to break. Not loot so much. Start getting shot at from behind. Immediately finding cover. Go down to the guy. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I've watched this video back that many times to see if there was any visual on that dude, and there was not. This here is not how I recommend to play the Gulag. I'm going to let it just play out and you can watch it. I, I don't play this well. I do get lucky. What I do recommend is charging it up the stairs on your left and hiding behind the box inside the house. This one right in front of me here. You can use it as a nasty hair glitch. Rotate around the box as they rotate around the outside of the map. I'm wanting to go back and getting my gear, but I'm realizing I'm so stinking far away. So we'll, we'll drop down on Big Zero on the Anus. You know how it is. Immediately seeing the shots underneath me. Getting so excited that... Yep, you guessed it. Completely forgot that satchel. Simple engagement, nothing special on it. S same with this guy. I was confident dropping down under this dude because I'd already put some shots on him and he didn't have anywhere to go. A uh, little bit of an ego child, but nothing, nothing too impressive there. Now, what I need to be doing is I need to instantly here be getting money and getting a UAV, getting it up in the sky, because I've just landed from the Gulag. I know nothing about this region. I don't know where the bad guys are. I don't know what contracts have been and have been taken. I know absolutely nothing. So what I'm doing here, just standing around in the open, pissing around with these guns. Now, I swapped the sniper because this one felt better. That's what I was doing. But I need to step on the gas. The chances I've just shot an unsuppressed gun, the chances that someone's going to come and get me are huge. I should be immediately to that buy, getting that UAV up. And fortunately, what I'm doing here, which is, again, wrong, uh, but I'm attempting to get money to get a Lodi as well as a UAV. I do get the money to do such things. UAV first, guys. Don't do what I just did then. Get the UAV up when you're in a new area and you don't know where people are. Get that UAV up. Now, we see that looking at the UAV, there's nothing in my immediate vicinity, so I'm able to sneak the loadout. Choosing to opt to actually run with the loadout that we picked up from the ground, which was a bit of fun. This was my first game on. We were just kind of hanging, talking to chat, not really thinking much of it. So I wasn't taking it too serious. Now, seeing this view, Av, we know that there's a guy coming. I'm thinking he's coming up this ladder because he hasn't moved from that spot for quite a while. Then, just then, I heard some footsteps. So that's how we're able to pick him off. And we're looking for that second dot that we saw. I don't know if you guys noticed it or not, but as I'm pushing forward, you can see this second dot up here. So I know that we've got two dots on the ground floor. None of them are in the building. This guy I'm being aware of. This dude's very obvious as to where he could be. So there's not much in it with him. Uh, I just was quiet to let you guys hear those footsteps again as to how I knew he'd move to the left. So immediately continuing on, I'm now seeing the very, very slight, uh, you can't, there he is, there it is right there. You can see the very slight recon. So I know that there's a guy just standing in the exact same spot out there. Now I, I'm do, I am guessing I saw that just then as I glanced up, um, in the real game as well. 
probably shouldn't have taken the time to loot and then slowly run upstairs and get the big game. But hey, um, I guess I was... I don't know what I was doing. We hear enemy dropping into the AO. Didn't actually hear a shot at all, though. So this is why I now start getting a little bit on edge. I'm also remembering that there's still that recon guy. Nice little shot here. And just now I see this dude running here in the open. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm ego challenging hard, guys. This is not advised. I'm on a roof with no cover. If this guy could hit shots, I'd be dead in a heartbeat. Like, do not do, not do what I'm doing here. Get back behind over the railing. Armor up, reposition, re-engage on the fight. I, I was able to get prone and safe a little bit. But again, risky, risky, risky play. Alright, so we finished him off, and the same time that we finished him off, I've heard my bounty is down. Now, take note here, take a little shoot, and we do a sideways glide to get you that a little bit of extra length to be able to make it over that fence. So I know that up here, because this is where my bounty was that I just picked up on the other side of this O building, I know that there's at least one other guy there, because that's where my bounty just died. Now, I'm going to push up here, and I'm guessing, yeah, grab this other king. Uh, again, as I say it on live stream all the time, I'm often grabbing these because yes, the money's good. The advance you have is even better, but the best thing is just intel on where someone is. I wouldn't have known to look over here, but I got the bounty and was able to look in this direction. There he is. With that second shot, nice and good, nice and good. Now, immediately, you see that advanced UAV going up. I know I'm not in immediate danger because you can see your very immediate danger by just looking at the UAV up here on the left, uh, on your minimap, sorry. Um, guy just standing in the window, get rid of him. Uh, what I need to be doing is bringing up my map. Guys, this thing has been up for ages now. This advanced UAV has been up for so long and not once have I brought up the map to have a look at where people are. In fact, I'm buying another UAV, there we go. Finally, I get up and I see that there's quite a few people up here. So we just run up this direction. This dude very unfortunately drops back in. Uh, I see this dead body here, assuming it was the guy that I initially pinged. And we've got two more people pinging up above. Sorry about that little glitch in it there. Hear the UAV, know that this is this guy. I'm high alert, so I'm going to be pinging. Uh, that's why I take shots pretty quick, because I assume that he's going to be looking my direction. The guy is... Yeah. Enough said. Uh, I'm being very cautious not to stand still as I know that there was that second dot, right? It was up above. It was on that. We could see the up arrow and it, where it was on the minimap, I could see it was on the ramp above this crane thing. This guy takes the opportunity to buy. Not the play. Not the play. Now, I'm looking for this other guy. I can't see him anywhere. I'm opting to just run in in the open. I, I don't agree with my play here. I should have wrapped around a little bit more on the outside of this compound uh, to try and find him. I even then go to the buy, and I know that there is a dude somewhere above me in this area. Both of those were very risky, um, and if I was to think it through a bit more, should not do. The second buy was fine because I knew, you know, how far away he was. Trying to pull back some distance here to see up high. Um, whilst also being near cover in case I lose. And got a... Okay. <laughs> got a nice little shot on that guy. He was not a fan. So immediately we're engaging in what we call the pinwheel rotation. Now, I wish I could bring up the map myself to show you when, uh, when I do bring it up. I'll make sure to pause it to explain what the pinwheel rotation is. But we're going to be rotating around the outside of the map. I don't want to just be running into the center. I want to be aware of my natural terrain and where the enemies could be and where they're going to be pushing. But most importantly, pushing forward. So if someone's pushing forward behind me, they're not going to be able to third party me because I'm always moving forward. But also trying to catch people off guard as they are pushing into the zone now we've seen even though the zone has shifted to the other side here we go so i know zones pushed over i do bring up my map this is smart i'm immediately looking around where are the key locations on this map where are people going to be camping i've got 12 people 11 others left what are the spots that people are going to be camping in my mind obviously we're going to have some people in ruins right this hole is everything on the map i've just come from this region 
So we know here is going to be pretty clear. There's a good chance I'd cleared out this guy. So th this whole region here is going to be pretty safe because that's where we came from. The rest of the map is all pushed in from here. So we know that that is where they're going to be funneled through. So that's why we're doing a pinwheel rotation. And what I mean by the pinwheel rotation is that we're rotating around the zone. Just want to give a massive shout out to Iceman Isaac. He's inspired me to do so many videos. And he's the one that really, I think the pinwheel rotation is something that we did naturally. But he really was able to articulate and explain what it was that we were doing and why we were doing it. So a massive shout out to Iceman. Maybe tag him in the video, get him here, because this is all of this is so inspired by him. But we're going to activate the pinwheel rotation where we rotate around like this, right? So that's the idea. We're pushing in slowly, pushing around, waiting for everyone who's coming in like that to take him out. That will be unsuspected, and we'll get the upper hand. And it should, if it all goes smoothly, be free kills. That's the idea. Also, we're playing Caldera, right, guys? Like, it's not safe. You're never safe. And no plan is full. Luckily, I just saw this guy. You won't see it in the quality on your phone, but when I play the game, I've got a little bit better res on my monitor. I saw him just running in the distance there. Look at the UAV, ping the spots, using the advantage of that UAV, using it to its max potential, knowing that I'll just be able to fight this guy, um, and then using my ping to remember where the next team is that I want to push. It was a little bit windy. This day in the old Vedonk. No, Vedonk, oh my goodness, I said it. Caldera. It was a little bit windy. We, we missed a few shots. <laughs> Get the down. Immediately snap to my right. I don't want to push towards this guy because then his cover is just still going to be useful. What I want to do is push to the right to get new angle from around the rock. He chooses to go for some armor. It's kind of one of those Rixies plays. Didn't pay off for him, though. Immediately that high alert is paying off. I'm getting it from behind. I haven't seen this guy yet. Now I catch him. Now I'm going to use this ridge as a head glitch. So if he wants to chow me and beam me, it's only the tip of my head. I'm not pushing up onto the road, although it looks like that's what you naturally want to do because you'll see more of him. I want to make sure that I stay where it's just my head above that little ridge. Make my, my body as small as possible. Now, the left push is open and there's a huge verticality. So I'm opting to come back to the right again where there's a little bit more cover. I know the natural terrain has got some of these bigger rocks in. And from here, we're able to now push in and across to this other side. Before, it was just an open field. Remembering this is where we pinged people. See a guy just walking across in the water. Ping your UAVs, guys. I can't say it enough. The amount of kills you get on the unsuspected people because... You've pinged it previously, right? That was minutes ago, but I was still able to know people were there because of that ping. Now, the zone is getting smaller here, obviously. Uh, there's still six other people up. I'm wanting to hold high ground here. So I opt to climb as high as I can, uh, knowing that obviously high ground is a huge strength in Warzone. I'm trying to check each of these bushes, each of these rocks, because, again, Camp City when you get into these end circles. Now, I hear that snipe. Immediately. Bring it up. You saw that. Immediately. Hear the snipe. Oh, that's going back a bit far. Let's go from here. We're going to hear the snipe. There it goes. On the mini-map, you can see up here, we've got the red dot on the mini-map. So, immediately, I am i don't know exactly where he is, but I hear it. I see a red dot. Instantly, you want to bring the map up. Boom. Maps up. I see it's still there because it's still hovering. Immediately, I go, I click on it, and I ping it. Watch what happens. Rally point set. There is no chance I would have known exactly where that guy was, except for the pack fact that I opened up my minimap, was able to ping it. Here are the shots beneath me. Managed to sneak one of them. Unfortunately, he gets the other. I'm telling you, those bushes, so many of those bushes are going to get shot. Conveniently timed. Oh, little live instant replay. Guys, if you do check out my stream, we have mad little features like these live replays all the time for good shots that we like to appreciate. 
Now, we're going to continue just to hold the high ground, looking over ruins, knowing that there's a 1v3 situation. They're going to be ratting it out hard. So at this point, I did have to slow the gameplay down a fair bit as we were looking. I just saw the tip of a guy's head. You, you may not have been able to see that. Uh, I, want, I just want to show you what it was that I saw, which forced me to do that little slide cancel. All right, so it is hard to see, but right here is, is his tiny little head. Again, my monitor is a bit cleaner, so it's easier to see, but right there is his little head. So the second I see that, I snap back to the left, get out of cover, jump, reach out. I don't think he was prepared to shoot me, but in my opinion, sorry, in my mind, I'm playing as if everyone has a sniper locked onto my head, ready to go. Get rid of him and regain to the high ground once again. Trying to get eyes on ruins. Because as I said before, this is where we know the remainder of the teams are going to be. So we, we sat out there the whole time. Zone all of a sudden shifts all the way across. Uh, still no visuals on anyone, but we know we're going to rotate early. We're going to get to zone early, find some cover. They're all going to have to push out into the open and we should get some pretty free kills like this guy rotate the rest of the way in finding this big tree that we know will give us good cover <laughs> throw out a dirty little throwing knife that i missed terrifically and using the tree just the shoulder in and out in and out we're able to get a pretty clean kill so guys i hope you enjoyed yourself and you learned a thing or two didn't go into any two specifics over each play however i did able to break down more of like a in the mind of manic the bigger picture why i'm moving to where i'm going what i'm thinking what i'm looking for as we go into future videos we'd love to break down individual plays and pick apart each movement uh, as things happen, as that will be interesting to watch. But that one was mine. I would love to review your gameplay. So if you could upload a video to YouTube, link it to me in my Discord or my DMs, as long as you've got at least five kills and make it into the top 10, that way we know we've got enough to at least, you know, enough footage to work with and review. But if you guys enjoyed this and want to see more content, make sure to hit me with that follow. Watch this space, guys. It's going to be dope.